at here. Let's see here. What's the shape of the bat? Kind of like a rod, right? It's not perfectly rod. So we could, we could do an, approximate, an approximation. I have the bat pivoted about the end point. So what should its moment of inertia be about the pivot point? One third uh, ml squared, right? One third ml squared. So I'll, we'll do a little, uh, let's get the stopwatch again. Okay. Ready, set. Hold on. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fourteen point oh nine seconds. That's uh, actually close to that, huh? So uh, let's say we're assuming the bat here, this is example three. We're assuming the bat is like, let's say, huh, that's not a good picture. Yeah, <laughs> it's pivoted about this point, right? So we're assuming that the moment of inertia we can approximate as one third ml squared. And then MGD, what's the MGD going to be? Well, actually, the mass is going to be somewhere here. Oh, that's going to be hard to approximate. Huh? It's not halfway. If we try halfway, we should get an error, right? If we try like uh, D is half L, let's just try it for the sake of seeing. I'm assuming here if when we try it, uh, we should get a wrong answer. It shouldn't be the same as what we got. The experimental, I got 1.41 seconds. OK. Is the mass canceling again? I don't, do I need to measure the mass of the bat? Or it cancels? It cancels. OK, good. Less work to do, I guess. That's good. Then the 2 goes over to the top, then I have G, and then I have L. So I do need to measure the length of the bat, OK? So I'm going to measure roughly from about here to here. Ten, twenty. that's 64. About 64 centimeters. So T is going to be 2 pi. This, this is assuming this, this is assuming that the, the D is half L, which I'm uh, I don't think it's going to come out right, you know. One point. Oh, really? It's, 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 it's pretty bad. 1.31. It's not good, huh? So the D is actually more. 
right? Oh, you know what though? If I put D more, it's going to give me worse answer. <laughs> okay? I'm going to get the worst answer, right? Uh, the D is supposed to be maybe what? Three fifths, two thirds, 70%. So I need to actually put a bigger number here, bigger ratio, right? Which is actually going to make the answer less than 1.31. Okay? So it's actually going to make it worse. It's going to make it farther from that. So what, why is this happening? Why is this one giving us crappy result? Well, what did we assume here? We assume that the uh, bat is a uniform rod. But is it? No. Where is its mass concentrated? down here. So its moment of inertia is actually not one-third. It's more than one-third. So the real answer for this is it's kind of complicated, you know. Uh, you have to do, uh, you have to get the actual moment of inertia. You have to get the center of mass. Use that center of mass. Get the actual moment of inertia. It will work out. But the I needs to be bigger than it is and this needs to be bigger than it is in order for it to work out. Okay. Now there is something known as, uh, they call it center of percussion. It's the, uh, the best place to hit a baseball on the bat. Have you guys heard of that? Like when you get the baseball, there's a particular place you want to hit it so that the ball goes the farthest, so that it doesn't uh, vibrate. This is called the center of percussion of the bat. It's a specific location here. Probably it's about right here. This is the best place to hit the ball because then the ball is, uh, uh, feels the least vibration. And baseball players know that. They know where the best place of the ball bat is. It's the place where a simple pendulum of the same length gives you the same period. In other words, we can experimentally find the, go like this, let's see if they go together. Oh, it goes together, you see? No, this one's a little faster. The simple pendulum is a little faster, so I need to go the uh, the L. I need to make the length of the simple pendulum longer. No. Now let's see if they go together. Yeah, it's about that's about right. I made the length of that longer, so. The center of percussion of the baseball bat is right about here. Right about here. No, hold on. Let me put them side by side. Right about here is the best place to hit it. Okay? So it's the length of the simple pendulum that has the same period as the baseball bat. That's how you find it. And that's what baseball players do. The first day when they get to training, they do the simple pendulum, they do the formulas, and they figure out where the best place to hit. That was a joke, nobody laughed. Okay, okay now, okay now. My jokes aren't making people laugh anymore. Okay, now let's do this one, because this one will work. This is a uniform rod. Let me clamp it at any, per, any arbitrary location. Let's say I'm going to clamp it right here. Let me test, do the period. This one should work if the formula is right. One, two, three, four. Oh, this one. Why did that one die? <laughs> 